When David decided to move into a smaller home, he wanted to find a way to entertain his cats. We know that they love seeing the squirrels, so we found a bird feeder that sits in the window. David also enjoys the wildlife. Well, most of it. I love the squirrels. You know, they're, they're part of nature. Rats are invasive, unhealthy, and dangerous. Rats are a sore subject with David right now. Remember I mentioned he had downsized? At that time, he needed to rent a self-storage unit for his extra belongings. Modern furniture from the 70s, and a few of the pieces came from my grandparents' apartment. Also had a lot of sentimental value to us. Back in December, David's wife had gone to the storage facility to pick up a few things. She went in, she closed it up, everything was fine with the unit. In April, they went back, and you'll see why David's disgusted by rats. And as we were approaching the unit, walking through the halls, there was a putrid smell on the halls. As they opened the door, they saw rats had moved in to live and die. It was rat infested. Everything in the unit was covered with urine, rat feces, and we even found dead rats in the unit. Remember the sentimental items, like his grandfather's chair? Ruined. They destroyed furniture, artwork, documents that we were saving. Everything was just absolutely destroyed. Fortunately, the storage company required that David buy insurance. Unfortunately, that insurance was basically worthless. They pointed out that even though we paid for insurance, that they won't cover more than $500 for vermin damage. David estimates the damage items are worth tens of thousands of dollars. He battled the storage facility to get reimbursed. He lost. I've called corporate. No one in corporate will get on the phone with me. We've just been stonewalled. Well, Howard, legally is the storage facility responsible for the rat damage? Most of these contract for self-storage facilities are very one-sided in favor of the storage company, in part because the tenant signs away their rights. And while the facility is not responsible for rat damage, they could be if they become aware of the problem and don't correct it. But again, it's an uphill battle for the renter because the contract favors the facility. We contacted the storage company. After we spoke to them, they told David they'd compensate him for the damages if he'd sign a confidentiality agreement and not discuss the details with us. David said yes, and while he can't say what he got, he can say he's happy. I'm ecstatic. Thank you very much. Help me, Howard, solve their issue, and we couldn't be happier. David has taken everything from the storage company, and while a lot of items got trashed, he has hopes for a few things. We hope we'll be able to get restored and recovered some of this furniture that had value and sentimental value. Glad David is satisfied. And if you watch Help Me Howard, sometimes you see people sign a non-disclosure agreement like David did, so they can't talk about what they got. We don't mind because our goal is to get you what you deserve. And if you sign that document, it means you did. Got a problem that's left you hollering rats? Eradicate the pest by storing it with us so we can clean things up for you. Well, this helped me, Howard and Patrick Frazier, 7 News.